What's up, guys? Renegade Ninja here. For some reason, the sound isn't recording in the game when I use Shadow Play. I'm not sure what's up. I don't know if it's a glitch or what. I gotta figure it out. So there's no sound in the gameplay at all. So sorry about that. But this is my first game ever of Battlefield Hardline. I just installed it and just put it on. And uh, I actually don't think I did terrible, considering I've never played it before. It's got like more of a cartoony feel than Battlefield 4. But I wanted to uh, talk to you guys how you can get some of these games for, well, I'm going to call it free. You can call it what you want. But if you're planning on getting either Titanfall 2 or Battlefield 1 or both. See, I'm planning on getting both. So these games are essentially free to me. Because if you play on uh, PC, uh, they Battlefield and Titanfall all come through the program Origin uh, instead of Steam. Like what a lot of games come through. There's Origin, Steam, you play that kind of stuff. But they, they all come through Origin. And right now, if you get Origin Access, it's $4.99 a month. And you can cancel it any time. And uh, you end up getting this game, uh, Battlefield Hardline, Battlefield 4, and uh, a bunch of other games. Uh, Mass Effect series, uh, Need for Speed Rivals. I'm trying to think of all the games I have. The Dead, the, uh, Dead Space series. You get all those games because they're what's called in the vault. So if you're a member, for an end of month, you get to play these games, right? And uh, you can then, of course, buy them if you want to later. But I just want to play them because I've played a lot of them, but I just wanted to play the ones I haven't. And... Uh, the thing is, is you actually get battle a discount for pre-ordering on Battlefield 1 and a discount for pre-ordering on Titanfall 2. And I believe it's 10%. I, I can't 100% be sure I have to check again, but it's 10%. It, it ends up being about $5 per game or a little bit more even. And uh, if you do the math, Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2 come out in October, and that's just a few months away. So if you get both of those and you're saving over $5 a game on both of those – then that's $10 of savings right there. So you essentially could get this program, uh, Origin Access or whatever, for $10, so two, two months for free. And I was thinking about getting Battle, uh, Black, yeah, Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline anyway just to play it. Like my cousin and my friend went ahead and bought Battlefield or Battlefield 4, uh, so they paid $4.99 for it because it's on sale right now for $4.99. And then any other games you buy, you also get a discount. I believe it's 10% for any games you buy. So you essentially, I essentially, for $4.99 a month and playing for these two games, until those Titanfall 2 and Black Ops 1 come out, and then I get them for a discount. So, uh, whereas my friends have to pay full price. So I essentially save $10 there, and then I think it's three months. Let's see. Uh, what is it? What is it? June? So July, August, September, October. So I guess it's four months away. So I might be a little bit incorrect there. So essentially, you get these games for the price of around $5.99. Uh, you get a ton of games for free, which, which that, to me, that's just an insane deal. And I wanted to go ahead and pass it on to my subscribers. Um, if you're planning on getting these games anyway. Now, if you're not planning on getting Battlefield, pre-ordering Battlefield 1 or Titanfall 2, then this might not be the best choice for you. You know, it's really not as big of a deal. It's not such a great... But if you're planning on doing it anyway, which I am, which, this pays for itself. And you can play some hardline Battlefield 4, see if you enjoyed it at all. And this game plays way, way different than uh, Battlefield 4 for sure. I can definitely see why the Battlefield guys got irritated about this game. Because it's like, I don't know, it's kind of got like a Counter-Strike feel to it. It's very odd. But uh, I... I just this is my first game. I only played one game so far, so I can't give a, a review on it or anything like that. But uh, I thought I'd pass that idea on to my subscribers that if you're planning on getting those games anyway, jump on Origin, get the access, and then just cancel it once you if you're done when you're done playing Har uh, Battlefield Four, you're done playing Battlefield Hardline, and you're into Battlefield because once once my friends and I all are playing Battlefield 1 or Titanfall 2 or whatever we're into, I'm not going to go back and play these games again. I don't know if you guys are like me, if you guys like to go back and play old games. I, I, we do sometimes, but uh, it's really just I'm tired of Black Ops, and uh, I really am just we're just looking for something to enjoy and play and game while we're waiting for some other games to come out. So uh, if that's you, if that's interested, then you can essentially get these games for close to free. Uh, which is really, really awesome to me. So it just kind of something to think about here. And uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, I've been posting a little bit more regularly recently. Uh, it just depends on how fast my life is. I really enjoy posting, actually, now that I have games that I enjoy playing. See, the problem is I started my, my channel on Call of Duty, and then I stopped liking Call of Duty. So, um, so then I quit posting because I quit enjoying the game. I'm not going to force myself to play a game I don't like. So, uh, but I've been playing a lot of different games recently, and, and uh, I really uh, Shadow Play makes it really easy. So, um, 
yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, uh, I don't know. If you're getting it, then it's a great deal. If you're not, then you probably should just bypass this video and go on. So if you like, if it helped you out, if you're thinking about doing it, go ahead and leave a thumbs up rating. I appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to let the gameplay play out just a little bit more just because uh, it's hardline. So if you like it, maybe you can look at it and see if you want to get this game. And maybe you're like, man, this isn't for me at all. Obviously, I have Battlefield 4 gameplay on the channel. So if you aren't sure if you'd like to play Battlefield 4 or Battlefield Hardline, you can just watch the videos and see if it'd be something you'd enjoy. Um, I know a lot of people are switching from Call of Duty because they're tired of a lot of things. My switch from Call of Duty was when they started buffing the auto shotties and the autos and their burst sniper. Like, they put that crap in the game and it was like, uh, alright, whatever, it's cheap, but you know, it's not that bad. And then you see a bunch of noobs using it and like, getting free kills that really aren't earned and, and it's really annoying. And then... The patch comes out, and I don't really even check the patch notes anymore because I'm not that into it. But for some reason, I think I glanced across the YouTube channel or something, and they're like, yeah, this patch, I think it was T. Martin, because I still subscribe to all them. I still watch the videos sometimes, and uh, or Drift or one of the two. And they were like, yeah, patch the auto, uh, buff the auto shotties, and, and that's really cool. And I'm like, what? Like, the cheapest crap in the freaking game, and they're gonna, you're going to buff that like you're gonna make it better it was already too good like the auto shotties were already needed nerfed you could just fire away and take pretty much no skill to use and they buff them like to me that shows that call of duty doesn't actually care about competitive gameplay they care about just sales and young kids having fun that aren't very good so they can get kills and they keep buying the game and that was that's when I just was like, you know what, uh, I think I'm done with this. And I quit playing and I switched over and started uh, trying other games, I guess. So hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay and uh, thank you for watching once again. Peace.